boys, the first Madden tournament of the year, the first MCS tournament, started this weekend with live ladder play. This was my best game of the tournament. All right, in this game, we are playing ice. The three-time Jets Club Series champion, I think, something like that. One of the best young players on the circuit. He's been doing really well, really grinding, really become a better man player. He's definitely one to look out here on this MCS year. We were able to play the ladders from 1 o'clock to 8 p.m. They were canceled on Saturday because of the auction house problem. So now we are able to play just one stretch one day we're able to play as you see ramsey doesn't make that play right here this is the first game of the year i'm going to do a voiceover on because i did not stream these games they weren't live i was not recording my face or my reactions so let me know below in the comments do you like the live games better do you want to hear a voiceover or do we mix it up like this every once in a while uh but Regardless, I appreciate all the effort you guys are putting in watching these YouTube videos. They're really popping, and we're going to keep pushing them out this year uh, from start to finish. But you see here, Ice with the ball first in the Titans jersey. Uh, this was a sweat fest for sure. Really tough to play defense right now on Madden 22, especially against a good bunch user. And we get a big hit on Josh Allen. That was good defense, but he gets the first down with the mobility of Josh Allen. Everybody's using Josh Allen because he has this set feet lead ability, which is like a poor man's gunslinger. He can get rid of the ball, and he can it, it gets to the wide receivers a little bit faster. We get him to a third and six right here, and you see he just has that mobility with Josh Allen to get a first down. Fourth and one, he's going to go for it right here. Uh, we play great goal line defense. We don't run commit, but... <clears throat> I forgot that I had my zone drops on zero. So when I put a purple to guard that on Deion Sanders, it actually was a zero yard purple. So that was embarrassing. One reason I don't use zone drops a lot because I tend to forget about them a lot. So for me, I, I, I kind of keep default more than 90% of the game right there. It cost me. I could have got off the field right there, but we did not. So we got to go match them. We have uh, Kyle Pitts. We have Tyree Kill. We have this new Ladanian Tomlinson card who's not good, man. If you guys are thinking about Ladanian Tomlinson, don't like him. He has a weak spin move, but we hit Kyle Pitts over the middle here. That's the biggest difference between him and McCaffrey. McCaffrey has that really good spin move, which I think is the best move in the game. So that's why LT, as Josh Allen sails this one on me, he's going to miss a couple of those from time to time. That would have tied the game up. But that Josh, but like I said, I like McCaffrey more than I like um uh ladanian tomlinson right now but i do love this brandon marshall card i would tell you guys he's a must-have i actually have 25 jets theme right now so what's my brandon marshall i believe is 92 speed on my team i have the double strategy cards we got the jets theme team for ed reed darrell revis ladanian tomlinson and brandon marshall that's a strong and jamal adams who i don't use but he is definitely one hopefully he gets a new card here soon we could use some safeties that would hit instead of having Dion right there to make that weak tackle. So, like I said, I would, I'm would i still probably going to keep right now. That new Saquon is coming out, but I still like Christian McCaffrey more than I like more than I like this LaDainian Tomlinson. He's fast, but without the spin move and the good jukes, not the best card for me. As he hits this C route over here, one of the best plays in the game is double post. And this is early or late in the, in the first half. He's going to try to milk and get a score here. Um, so I can't do anything, but I get the ball at half, so we're good. We're able to go ahead and make this tackle. Ed Reed on his Ladanian Tomlinson. He's at the 26-yard line right here, and we're going to give up the streak outside. We tried to sneak in cover two. Cover two is broken right now. It's tough to sit in cover two to deep halves. Really, as you see right there, he had no shot to get to that wide receiver. But not the worst thing. We have 50 seconds. We still have all three time. Or we got two timeouts. But right here, we're going to go to the top. Brandon Marshall, secure catch. He comes down with it in traffic. Marlon Humphrey couldn't stop him. We're at the 41-yard line. We got to try to score here. We're going to Kyle Pitts. And Josh Allen just lofted that ball. Pitts could not hold on to that one. We got 38 seconds left. We got to get inside the inside field goal range at least. Dump this off to Kyle Pitts. Now, remember, I, have, I get the ball at half. So this is a great opportunity to double dip to chip underneath Brandon Marshall. Four yards for a timeout, not really worth it, but we're still in field goal range. We're looking good. Look for that corner route again. It's not there. He plays a little bit of match and bags me right there. Third and six, we're able to hit this post route. Mm, I think, uh, but I got a spike right here. I got to go down. 
we got one second left. I tuck my tail between my legs and kick an extra kick a field goal because I got to take care of this possession. I get the ball. I can double dip the chip. That post route, I should have passed, led up a little bit more. Maybe even rat caught into the end zone. But I was hoping I would get the animation and fall into the end zone there. Did not. And we get sacked the first play in the second half. Josh Allen right there. But we get a second and 22. We're able to hit B. Marsh. That's that six foot five frame. He is a monster, man. I would, I would say uh, he's the best receiver in the game right now, without a doubt. If you don't have level 50 Hester, I'm a level 10. So if you guys aren't, you guys are playing against all these Hesters and Kittles, just, just trust me. It's okay. I'm a, I'm a pro Madden player and I'm level 10. So don't worry about it too much. But I hit that man, Brandon Marshall, again. Big gain inside the 20 yard line, down to the 15. Hopefully get the score and go up by, go up by three points. That would be huge right here. Looking for the corner route, don't have it. Get a couple yards with Josh Allen. We're on the 10-yard line. Got to find somebody, and we find that boy, LaDainian Tomlinson. I do have backfield master on him, so he gets the extra hot routes, and he gets that secure catching where they're pretty much going to catch the ball regardless. I love that ability, especially if you're a passer. If you're a passer, you should have that on your running back. He will not drop a pass. Great defense here. He has all day. We only rush three, but we eventually get there, throw the ball away. It's tough to play good defense like that and make a throw away right here underneath. He throws the running back. You see he's not going to drop it. He has that same ability on his LaDainian Tomlinson, so he doesn't get those drops. Right there, delay route to Kittle. He gets the first down. Right here, we're up by three, man. We just... We just I hope to God to hold him to a field goal because it's really hard to play defense, especially against somebody that's really good good in bunch like Ice is. Right there, he's closing in on fringe field goal range right here. Hits another drag to Hester. We to end Deion Sanders bouncing off. Uh, he's inside the 20 now, but it gets a little easier the closer you get to play defense. But right there, he hits me with the, sh the seam streak. Devin Hester, touchdown. We played the good defense to start, but... Back to back to back, 15, 20 yard plays. He gets an end zone. So we're down four again. We played good offense too. This is not, there have been no stops. The only thing that stopped us right now is me before half with the time. Uh, so, so I think the first person to get the stop is going to win this game. That's how a lot of these games are going to come down to in this Madden tournament this weekend. Uh, defense, I, I, I don't want to say it's bad. But it looked bad right here as we go up to Jamar Chase inside the one yard. Over at the two yard line, I'm going to punch it in with Derrick Henry. I don't want to say defense is bad. Uh, it's definitely better on all Madden. I wish I wish EA would give a mud head to head all Madden. I, I don't know. I, I know exactly why the game's played on all pro. It's played on all pro because the cards matter more on all pro. All Madden, every card, the threshold stuff doesn't matter as much, man. On all pro, you need the best cards. All Madden, you can get away with having lesser cards because it's a better mode because the players play better. The defense reacts better. So that's why it's on all pro. But all Madden, the game is a lot better. I don't want to say it's great, but it's definitely a lot better. They play more, tackle better. They shed better. Defense is easier to play on all Madden. Right here, he dumps it up. Another underneath pass. Devin Hester right there. He gets a first down. We're up by three now. We just got to make him use some time. And right here, he hits... Jamar Chase on the C route right there. Danian Tom, I'm not going to call my timeouts until uh, I think he's going to score, really. I, and, you know, I'm going to let him milk and hopefully hold him to a field goal. Hopefully he milks himself into a field goal. 19 yard line, first and 10. He's going to dump the ball out to Tomlinson again. But now I got to call my timeouts because I know uh, he's inside the 10. So for me, I'm going to get the ball back. That's my goal right there. We stuffed the run huge on first down. Get him to a second and goal. We play great defense. Everybody's all over every pass right now. We actually get a big sack. Wish I could have got the ball right there. We get to a third and goal. Uh, third and goal from the 12-yard line. And we're actually going to give this up right here on a flat route to George Kittle, who's going to walk into the end zone. J.C. Horn just... That was rough right there. The flat routes to the tight ends are really tough. And now we go down by four. But I have done less with more. You know, I have or I have done more with less. Yes, I've done more with less. You guys know the saying. So here we go. We're going to hit pits right over me. We have no timeouts, but this is a huge 20-yard gain. You got to get into throw it up territory. That's how I feel. We'll go ahead and spike the ball right here. 17 seconds. You got to think he's not going to give me the sideline on a corner route or anything like that. So... Uh, right here, I'm just thinking I want to hit this. Obviously, I want this post for a touchdown to win the game. That would be great. 
That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the corner route as well, but I want to sneak this running back wheel right here. I think I can hit the running back wheel and get out of bounds into shot territory. We're not quite shot territory here. He's going to run with the post. We're going to go to LT. Boom. Swerve so we get that momentum going out of bounds. Stop the clock. 11 seconds, 27 yard line. What's the call? What do we go to? I have Pitts. I have Marshall. Got to get one of these guys in the end zone. He's in deep cover four. Tons of people in the back of the end zone. I could go back to that running back route again. Uh, maybe get to the 10 yard line, something like that. But I have no timeouts. 27 yard line. We have our, our fear. What's it called? Gambler activated. So it, he's going to throw the ball a little bit faster here. We're looking for Kyle Pitts. We're looking for B. No, nothing doing. I should have ran and got 10 more yards right there. But we throw the ball away. Six seconds in the game. My idea right now is that he has everybody in the back of the end zone. Everybody is deep. Everybody is deep blue, deep, deeper than the deepest. So my idea is I want pits. But I want pits not on a streak. I want him on a wheel route. So I want Chase to take all the deep blues to the back of the end zone. Maybe hit pits right here at the five-yard line and get into the end zone. I do that, but he has so many zones right here, and we don't come up with the catch. Last ditch effort, last play. Tried to find something for Pitts, tried to get it done. He does not come down with the ball. Good defense. I wound up losing this game, but it was a hell game. It was definitely down to the last play. Any game that comes down to the last play is huge. Now, in the comments, boys, I want to let you guys know, what do you like better? Do you like the voiceover or do you like the live games? All the other games I've been putting out have been live from the stream, uh, but this one, like I said, it was off stream, so I voiced it over, told you guys kind of what I was thinking. Let me know which one you like better. Also, if you want to see these games live, twitch.tv slash dub dot you guys know that link is below